One of the greatest things about video games is that there's something out there for everyone. And just because a game may not have sold 10 million copies or received a 98 Metacritic score, doesn't mean it isn't still fun. Sometimes there are releases that fly under the radar or that may not receive the love that fans feel they deserve. I want to take some time to talk about some of the games that each of us kind of personally feel are underrated, and we just want to show some appreciation for them. So, Janessa, yeah. what's your first pick? So, I am going to choose Titanfall 2. And now I know that this game was highly rated. A lot of people love it. But I feel like it was overshadowed a little bit. It released right in between Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it deserves a little bit more of our attention. Titanfall 2 is a first-person shooter where you play as a pilot and bond with a mech exoskeleton known as a Titan. Huh, what? interesting companionship yes. there, I suppose. Yeah, there's like an emotional bond in between you guys. It's super cute. And there's a short campaign. My favorite mode is the co-op horde mode. I'm getting Halo Reach firefight vibes when I play it. Ooh. Yeah, I love me a good like PvE co-op. So the, it gets so intense and stressful it does, in a good way. It, it does, and you're just like, oh, I, I want to survive one last round. <laughs> yeah. So I think that you guys would love it if you like fast-paced first-person shooters. The traversal is amazing. You can run up walls. It's sort of like shooter parkour oh. with guns. Mm. And um, if you played the first game, you would enjoy it. And maybe if you've been playing Apex Legends lately, and who hasn't, that takes place in the Titanfall universe. There you so you go. can learn a little bit more about it. That makes sense. That's interesting. Yeah. Alicia, what is your pick? Um, so I'm going to have to go with a game that I completely missed when it first came out, and that game is Vampire. Ooh. Now, it's developed by Don't Not Entertainment, and they are the same people that did Life is Strange. So you know in that one, lots of deep, great story, great mm -hmm. narrative, and lots of choices. And, and emotions. I know, emotions, <laughs> right? Those are super important. Well, speaking of choices, you play as Dr. Jonathan Reed, who is a vampire. Now, vampire, doctor. Oh. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go to the doctor anymore. I know, right? <laughs> You're going to make me scared of doctors. Well, I mean, uh, the, you can also play like a pacifist run, so you can play okay. more a nice as vampire a doctor. doctor. Right, a nice vampire doctor. Or you can play as more of a vampiric role, gain more vampiric abilities. You, you know, did this, didn't you? I did. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you don't have too much knowledge way. on that, <laughs> right? that path. Right? <laughs> well, I mean, speaking of you know, killing people as a vampire. What's interesting <laughs> is the combat is really strategic. You have to actually stalk your prey. You can't just go out there and, and hack and slash. There's, oh. there's strategy to it. It's like you're a real vampire, which I really, wow. really love, right? And I would recommend this for an older audience, for people that are into more darker RPGs. So what about you? I want to show some love to Mass Effect Andromeda. This is the fourth game in the Mass Effect series. The first three were a trilogy where you followed Commander Shepard, um, and this one follows a new protagonist named Ryder. So you get to customize him or her, kind of like with Shepard. There's lots of new characters, some great new romances oh. that I'm a fan of. <laughs> and basically the premise of the story is you are getting on this ship, you go to sleep for like several hundred years, and then you're waking up in the Andromeda galaxy in hopes of starting a new life for mm. all of humanity, so no mm. pressure. Um, obviously, the story probably wouldn't be that interesting if nothing went wrong, so things go wrong and you have to kind of okay. figure out how to start a new life, but I love that it brings about this question of, if I could go to another galaxy and start a new life, would I do it? I don't That's know a big I question. Would. That yeah, could keep you up at night. This game made me have some deep thoughts. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> but I think it's really good for Mass Effect fans uh, or even people who have never tried the franchise before. You can start with this game because it follows a new story and a new protagonist. So you don't need to have knowledge of the previous games in order to jump right in. That's super great. exciting. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. So, Janessa, what's the next game on your list? Sure. So, I am choosing Reyes, which is a god game. Ooh, fun. Yes. Yeah. So, you start with an empty world, and the player transforms the planet by using four elemental giants. You have a crab, a mountain, a tree, and a swamp beast. Huh. And so, while you can control these beasts, you can't control what the humans do. So you can create an ocean and a swamp and villagers come and they settle down and you think that everyone's going to live happily ever after, but all of a sudden they're attacking your beasts. They're not Rude. impressed, they're not appreciative of the life you yeah, gave them anymore. I was going to say, you built them a life and, and right? they're treating you like that. I mean, they're only human. <laughs> True. It's fun because you. This is like a puzzle game, and so yeah. if you plant, a, if you plant a certain plant or a certain animal, you can sort of awe the humans to calm them down. And they, they're not mad at you anymore. So all you have to do is just drop a bunch of puppies everywhere, and they'll all be okay. Basically, there yeah. We go. 
<laughs> Let me Isn't that the answer to everything? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, each session has so much meaning. You know, if, if you didn't like the way that your world ended up with the first time, then you just start over. A new era begins, and you have a whole new world to nice begin and with. Nice easy. Yep. Just I would recommend this game to, uh, to people who like God games, anyone that likes black and white, and for people who enjoy a good puzzle. Yeah. What is your second pick, Alicia? Well, speaking about wiping humanity off the face of the earth. <laughs> you know, fun. Like, <laughs> you um, can do that. <laughs> I mean, this is a completely unbiased opinion, but my choice is Darksiders 3, which is in a post-apocalyptic setting. Okay. Woo, kind of a good transition there. <laughs> Anyways, it is a third-person action hack and slash game where you get to play as Fury. Uh, she's one of the four horsemen who are going to track down the seven deadly sins. And unlike the first two, Fury has hollow abilities. So she can switch between these hollow slash kind of elemental abilities during combat. Ooh. Yeah, it's really, really great. And it's 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 fun because you can do it actively during combat. You don't have to wait while you're fighting. Another really great thing is she has this thing called perfect dodge. So if you dodge at the correct time and you counter, you're going to do this incredible, powerful move that just takes Ooh. out your enemies in like two hits. It feels amazing. <laughs> Now, I know some people are like, oh, the combat's a little bit more difficult. It feels different. Well, for those of you that feel that way, there is a classic mode now initiated in the game that does make the combat feel a little bit more like one and two, but it still has all those awesome strategic elements. And uh, this game is rated M, so I would recommend it for an older audience, yeah. people that love hack and slash games, people that love the Darksiders series, and mm -hmm. people that love character and story development. So what about you? Well, I also want to show some love to Assassin's Creed Unity. I personally really loved this game when it came out, and it's not one of the most well-known from the Assassin's Creed series, and basically takes place during the French Revolution. You play as Arno, and you go on ancestral missions, treasure hunts, murder mysteries, which I thought was kind of almost random in the huh. game, but in a good way. Like, I wasn't expecting to get to go and solve murder mysteries. And you become a master assassin along the way. And something I think is really cool um, is that they're actually using, like, the in-game model of the Notre Dame to help with the reconstruction of the real life building because it's such an accurate right. representation of like what France actually is in real life, um, which I just think that's super cool. And I think it's a great game for people who obviously love history and want to see accurate history in a video game. And also just people who love the Assassin's Creed series, mm -hmm. of course. As a 3D artist, real quick, I have to say that that's so cool that yeah, they right? are helping yeah. out in the Notre Dame stuff. That's absolutely I can see that like people that have heard about the Notre Dame incident are going to want to pick up this game just to be able to right. relive it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's really awesome that the developers take extra steps to make sure that the games in the entire Assassin's Creed mm -hmm. series are as accurate to real life as possible. So I'm honestly really glad that we got to talk about these games, and I think this conversation serves as an awesome reminder to give a fair shake to games you may not expect to love at first. Sometimes you'll be surprised by how much your experience with a title can differ from somebody else's. I completely agree. And if you want to check out any of the games we just talked about, see if you can pick them up pre-owned to save yourself some money. Just ask a guest advisor or head over to GameStop.com. All right, it's time for us to take a quick break, but Melanie and I will be right back checking out some VR goodness when we come back. Don't go anywhere. Hey, if you liked this video, make sure to click like and subscribe. We've got a lot more content just like this, and we're adding new videos all the time. Thanks for watching.